kabisa unaona huyu mtu atachukua atachukua kitu kwa nyumba aende auze aende avute naona hata wacha wa wazazi nyumbani hata huku nje raia tu pia wakijua tu ni mvutaji unga hawana amani na wewe kazi nikaoa bibi kazi kuja kuisha bibi alibeba vitu vyote kwa nyumba mpaka watoto pia wale ambao nilikuwa nimezaa naye pia nao akapeleka kwao sasa nikajikuta na mawazo kibao sana ilibidi nifikirie cha kufanya nikajikuta tayari niko maene maeneo nikaanza kuvuta unga nilikuwa na stress nyingi sina kazi sina vitu vitu vyote venye nilikuwa nimetafuta vya maana bibi alienda nazo zote paka manguo yani kila kitu kwa nyumba sasa nilijikuta niko maeneo tu nafuta huko mimi wakati wangu nilipoanza drugs nilikuwa niko school nilikuwa naenda college ya computer sasa <coughs> nilikuwa na rafiki yangu mmoja anampenda sana lakini yeye alikuwa ni mtu kuvuta bangi mimi nilikuwa najua bangi tu ndio yavuta kumbe alikuwa tumia drugs na siku akanambia nimpeleke aende aka akanunua kitu kienda kununua kitu kitu wenyewe si bangi ni drugs kamuliza ni nini yeye akanambia hii ni simu yangu ile ambayo aniona na kampeleka mara kwanza mara ya pili mara ya tatu ndio ikabidi kamwambia asinionjeshe na mimi na uko na kila siku wa walala nionjeshe kanionjeshe nikaonja siku ya kwanza siku ya pili siku ya tatu bonde mengi ya drugs ongelea drugs na mimi sasa ule urafiki ambao alikuwa yuko nao mimi ile kila saa twashikana ile nikimbia ikabidi sasa naanza kutafuta pesa mwenyewe ndio nipate kuvuta hata nitapeli niibe ni <coughs> ili naanza kutumia uraibu mwingine ili kusukusuku tofauti ili kusuku nipate 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 pesa nipate pesa nipate nini nipate steam chatumia paka bugizi chatumia paka hizi hizi teme bora yani kitu chochote ambacho iko na steam nilikuwa natumia wakati wa nyuma hapo nilikuwa ga, natumia hizi dawa za kulevya hizi na nimetumia sana ni kwa muda mrefu muda mrefu paka hii facility vile kafunguliwa kuja wakatuambia kuko na riabu kumefunguliwa na wanataka watu kuje tukunywe dawa tubadilishe maisha eh ndio mimi nikatoka mtaani nikakuja nikaulizia kama nitapata nafasi na nikapata nafasi nikajiunga nao nimekunywa dawa hapo kama kwa miaka miwili hivi ya nyume nyo iliyoisha baada kunywa dawa nikakuja nika nikaacha nikafika mwisho yani nikafika mwisho tukafungulwa miradi ya kuku miradi ya kupanda miti mpaka mdao wa saa hii sasa niko na mradi wa kuku na kupanda miti lakini mimi naendeleza maisha yangu tu hivyo pole pole kutaunga niliacha kunywa dawa pia nilifika mwisho nilifika mwisho when you talk about like that the fact that you have come to the mind is good <laughs> yeah so about 2010 we had the alcohol drugs control act and uh, that's really the inception and uh, that act gave now as uh, gave nakada it was called by a different name but then in 2012 an act of parliament was passed that now gave us the name nakada and so you, you know the challenge in the country with alcohol abuse uh, has been a major 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 challenge uh, and i think the government in 2010 was trying to see how do we deal with this we need a body that then can bring all the actors together so that it can be able to deal with this issue 
because one body cannot you know with it so they need a third body that can be involved with the national police the now the public everybody in Gaza and so in 2012 that was really established and so Nakada if I normally try to simplify for people I say it has two main key functions and uh, one is a supply suppression And that really entails the whole idea of how do we make sure that uh, bad alcohol and uh, you know drugs are not in our shelves. They are not there in the country. And that's a very tough task, and uh, I'll be sharing more where we are in that journey because it's, it's one of the most challenging ones. The second one is uh, now what we call demand reduction, and in the demand reduction we are looking at those people that have already been affected. How do we help them? Because these are patients, really, or what many Kenyans don't know. You know, if there was this culture where if somebody is using drugs, we would stigmatize them. But really, these are patients who are sick, they need to be helped. And so we want to make sure that once these people are treated and helped, then uh, we don't have the users of these uh, uh, drugs and also uh, bad alcohol within the country. And so we also do a lot of public education uh, in, the, in, help, in trying to help the demand reduction, telling people this is not good, you know, in schools, in, with, with the public and all, all that. So those are our two key functions. My mama na mtoto wangu nilimzaa wakati wa addiction. Nilipata tabu sana kwa sababu ilikuwa siwezi kuzaa huo mtoto nilipofika kwa kuzaa ilikuwa siwezi kuzaa mpaka nipate unga nivuti ndio nipate ile pumzi ile niweze kutoa mtoto. Kitu ambacho siwezi sahau katika maisha yangu niliwahi kumtuma mpaka nyanyangu mahali ambapo ina uzoa hiyo kitu. Sababu daktari alimwambia hawezi pata pumzi mpaka azae. Mpaka apate apate hiyo unga avuti ndio apate kuzaa yeye ni kitu sasa pia katika maisha yangu mtuma mzazi wangu ndio hapo nikapata huo mtoto through addiction na baba simjui nimeona changanya moto nyingi sana nimeziona kwa wao ndugu zangu wengine wenye wanatafuta pesa wengine mpaka kuiba yani kufanya vitu zile tofauti tofauti wengine wameulio wengine wamechomo wengine wamekatwa mapanga mepitezwa mambo mengi sana sasa nilipokuja hapa nilikuja yani nikunywei dawa nibadili hiyo unga yenye nilikuwa navuta kwa mwili yani nikunywei dawa ilibadilishe nirudi tena mtu wa timamu kama vile nilivyokuwa hapo mbeleni side uh, of particularly alcohol in central Kenya was, was was getting out of hand and we are grateful again uh, the Ministry of Interior plus the Office of the Deputy President joined hands and I can say right now we, we see a major decline uh, in, in the supply side and um, quite a uh, very substantial uh, win. And this is again the Ministry of Interior has played a very key role through the Ngao and the police and of course as we coordinate and work together we've seen that as a major success. We are also seeing we've encouraged partners, those who are working with us on the area of rehabilitation. One of it uh, is a group called Apex. Uh, they came up with a, a way where you involve the community. Uh, so that um, it doesn't have to be expensive to treat the people. So they bring them to a church building, they work with the county government, they work with um, uh, the police actually, they work with everybody. And we've seen graduations of many young men who are addicted in, out of it. And so for us that is a major achievement as we encourage our partners uh, to find solutions. Because in Africa community plays a very big role. And uh, while the traditional rehabs will continue doing what they do, there are people who can have quick interventions 
through the they just need the social support and encouragement from friends and that is giving us real mileage yeah, it's not only apex but other groups are picking it as well the other one that uh, we've seen and we are very happy with is our uh, groups and a case in point is one in Marrakech that I've worked with Nakada, Nakada, actually that old region, is uh, they are trying to help people to find alternative ways of livelihood. Uh, so it's uh, a way of, again, uh, cutting the supply. So you get the people, who, the ladies who normally produce this alcohol, uh, talk to them and uh, give them alternative. Tell, tell them, could you try this? And uh, recently in October, there was a major celebration of over 3,000 women who have left this business. <laughs> and they are now engaged in farming, in other, in other activities. So that tells you then um, the supply has gone down in, in that area. A very interesting one that I didn't think about. We still have a lot of work in the coast, but recently when we went, we were, they were, we were researching on something. So we went, we met with the, with the religious leaders, and then our team were looking at other things. And we were told the supply of heroin is way down. That tells you the, the again, our security agencies are doing a great job. So for us, that is a major, major success. Right. We've been building a foundation, you know, for, for, for as a board for next year, the next, the next uh, coming years. And, and, and I feel that where we are at, at the moment is we want to engage the counties fully. You know, the 2010 law came and gave a lot of authority to the counties uh, to help in the control and uh, basically the fight. So when we came, there was a major disconnect. So we quickly engaged the counties. And I had a meeting here with the chief whip uh, of the uh, governors, you know, the council of governors. And uh, through the help of the, again, deputy president, the governors have been engaged uh, very much. I think for us, this will be the game changer. Once the counties and the national government are going to work together and pull resources together, uh, and then deal with the problem in the counties, you know. And so, as Nakata as a board, we have actually uh, made a resolution we are going to be based in the counties. Uh, we've already begun that move, and so that uh, Nakata, in the end, will be present in every county. Out of the three hundred and fifty crimes, about twenty-five or 
talking about are females, whereas the others are males. Uh, the methadone clinic, among the services that it offers, one is administering the methadone. We also do screening, especially for drugs. We, we get clients who may be having TB and we refer them to hospitals for checkups. We also do HDS, HIV testing, uh, and then uh, we also do nutrition whereby we offer our clients milk after they get their daily dose. The other program at Meritini Treatment and Rehabilitation Center is an inpatient program which has currently about 40 clients, 30 are males and uh, around 10 are females. The capacity is 42 where we can be able to accommodate 32 males and uh, 10 females. Among the activities that uh, happen at inpatient program include a food curriculum whereby these people are psychoeducated on effects of drugs. We also do relapse prevention, intense counseling, other co uh, curricular activities such as games like uh, a pool, darts, although we have not started uh, doing darts yet, but we're in the process. But the other games like uh, football, we have board games like chess, scramble, uh, and all that. or recovery starts when you realize that whatever it is that you're doing is not the correct thing and you need to change your ways. And we are here to offer help so they can reach us, they can go to websites such as Canada and they reach out through our helpline which is 1192. Once they get that, they will be referred to us here at Meritini. They come, we admit them and we treat them, we treat them for about uh, three months if it's uh, alcohol or other drugs. Apart from people using heroin, those are the ones we uh, admit, admit in our methadone program and their treatment is a bit longer. It takes about two years or there about to win off the methadone. I don't know if I rehab, drugs. Ata sigara utakani kutumia. Sabu rehab zengine sigara na rusio. Lakini rehab is the best sabu. Imenisaidia. Hata kama nilikuwa kapale mwanza nilikuwa na hamu ya sigara. Imenisaidia nika toka kusabisai na nime abstain. Situmi uraibu wote. Hata nikitoko kwa nji itakua nika sabu. <coughs> Tuye ngine papia nimepata faida kwa ke. Kuna mati za kushona. Kuna counseling pia unapata katika, katika wama counsela wetu. Kuna madaktari mahudumu wao pia ni mzuri. Kiwa na shida yotu unasaidika yari at the right time. Uh, msimamu wenye nilichukua sasa kubadili. Niliona muda unazidi sana kusonga. Sana yani. Nikifikiria nyuma nilikuwa nga na kazi. Nilikuwa na bibi, nilikuwa na watoto. Na sahi sina bibi, sina nyumba, sina malipa kuishi. Nguo ni ile ile moja, kauka ni kuvae. Nilikuwa kuna fikiria sana ya Sana. In my recovery up and down, I made to me a... I made my mom and 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 my mom. Kuna misamaa uwezi kuna direct. Kuna misamaa, u, kuna misamaa uneza enda direct na kuna zingine uwezi enda in direct. Kuna makosa hale tulifanya mingine mabaya uwezi kumbwa misamaa pa kukatendo kumbwa misamaa kama kansela hivi ama sponsor wangu. Samene tunetu kama sponsor wangu ama kansela wangu ndo meza kumisaidia kuna mba misamaa kwa familia yangu. Marafiki ni makosa ya wengi hiyo ni mbocha mwenye zimu. Zile raisi raisi. Mamba msama, vile ngumu kama kuibia mtu fanya hini, ayo wongo. Kwa ni mamba mungu wa msama, sabuna zanda kwa mtu kama mamba msama, kubando li nibia kakwe nkandani. Sinona, hapo wongo, na mwachia mwenyezi mungu, ati na msamea. Sasa sai, na shukuru mungu sana. Awa jamao metusaidia sana. 
sasa saa hii mpaka mdogo sasa vile tunaongea saa hii niko na bibi na niko na mtoto msichana mkubwa na pia hata bibi yangu juzi juzi aliza tena mtoto mwingine lakini akapasa alinyongwa na kitovu wiki mbili zilizo hii na shukuru saini nimerudi ile hali yangu ya kawaida sasa saini na bibi nyumbani na mtoto mmoja na mtoto mmoja hao wametusaidia sana Micha ziada ni nafanya kuambia wa generation ya sayi ya mbuwa na ingilia hiyo miadarati kwa chanetuna. Hato wa kitaka ushauri kama mwenye atakoi ya nijua, mwenye ya nijui hata kama nge kuwana namba za simu pia ngeza kuwapatia. Wantafute ni wapatia, yani maisha yao vilo na zabadili, vilo na zabadilisha. Mepanga nifungwe butika. Yani nipate msaada, hata kama ni kidogo kwa family yangu nifungue boutique at least pia niweze kujikimbizi kwa sababu i don't mind is a devil workshop sababu katika recovery wanje katika recovery wongo ukabila ukabila kutumia alafu uwe uko idol au una kitu cha kufanya hiyo ni matatizo sana yani ni rais kurudi kule ulipotoka hata kama hiyo haina sababu lakini it's risky mimi kama kwa saa hii sasa miaka ambayo niko nao naelekea 43 na nimefuta unga kama kwa miaka kumi hivi. Yaani hao vijana wadogo wenye wananukia sasa hata mimi mwenyewe na waona huko mtaani. Wasijaribu kuingilia hii game hii. Hii game ni noma sana. Hata yani ni kama yani unatembea na kifo mkono, unijui uwezi kusikia rosto na uone kitu ya mtu iko pale, uvumilie, utachukua. Na sasa hii maisha yani imebadilika sio kama ile ya kitambo ile wakati wetu. Sasa hii imechange serikali ni nyingine ukifanya tu jambo dogo yani wewe yani ni kama unachungulia kaburi tu kiona sai kwa ile mtu ambao addiction ndio jamfikia ninamwombea wale simfikie kwa sababu hii drugs usionje wala usijaribu just stay from it stay away from it stay any yani drugs siko very bad yani ni mbaya sana kwa mtu akitumia kwa sababu una lose family una lose friends una lose paka yani una time na mtu yoyote hata kama uko na mtoto pia una shughuli naye yani haionjwi yani ni kama lana drugs haitibiki kitu cha kwanza lakini unapata nafuu